Hi everyone, welcome to my first YouTube video. My name is Cami. I'm with Cami's Craftiques. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I love to do crafts. I do all kinds of crafts. I sell locally through the Facebook marketplace. I just started selling on an Etsy store. I did, I tried to do some a little thing last year with the Etsy store, but I really didn't get much into it. So I did, I'm putting a little bit of stuff up now. Hopefully it'll go. What I'm going to do is make some videos. This video today I would like to share is a haul from Michael's and it's the, the grab bag haul, I'll call it, I guess. Um, what happened was this morning when I woke up, I was looking online to see what Michael's had on the clearance left for Christmas and I noticed it went to 90%. So when I noticed that, I was like, let me hurry up. Let me go in the shower. I'm going down to Michael's. There's my cat. Hello, kitty. And in the background, you'll see a rug that one of my dogs likes to lay on. She fixes it. And there's a toy back there. I forget which toy it is. It might be Sadie's raccoon. There's Sadie right there. And there's kitty. And I have another Boston Terrier. Her name is Gracie. She's deaf. Sorry. I definitely went way off track. Anyway, Back to my haul. So I was looking online and I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to go down there, see what I could get for 90% off that I could either use now or put aside for next year because I do sell stuff. Um, I think I said that and I do apologize. This is my first video, so I'm a little nervous and I keep talking over and over. So anyway, my total that I, sp I spent today in Michael's, I have the receipt right here. You'll, uh, you'll, you see my wreath is kind of falling apart there, uh, was twenty nine sixty eight. That was with tax and I bought five boxes and then two other items that was considered a grab bag. And I'll show you those. The first one was this wreath. I fell in love with this wreath, not for it to be as it is, but I fell in love with the price, $4, absolutely. Regular price was $59.99. Whoops, let me show you that. I did that a little crazy. So regular price was $59.99. I know none of you would actually pay $59.99 because that would be crazy, especially when Michael's run sales and coupons all the time. But for $4, I grabbed it. I thought the wreath itself, the grapevine wreath itself was well worth it. The florals on it, I think they're beautiful. Am I going to keep it on this wreath? Nope. I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to do other DIYs with it and I'll make something else out of them. I'm sure I'll add pieces of it to a few things. And the grapevine wreath itself, I will be keeping for myself most likely to do some sort of spring wreath for my own door. Unless I decide to sell it, we will see. But I think I'm going to keep it and maybe, I can't promise... But maybe I'll show you when I do something with it, or maybe I'll show you the after product. Because a lot of times when I do things, I don't think of videoing. I always just do them. So I might be one of those people who show everyone the end product. And if you want information, comment, and then I would give you the, the information of what I did. So the other $4, what they considered was a grab bag, was this here, this plant, and there's no price on it, so I can't tell you what the original price was, but I know it was way more than $4. This feels almost like a stone pot, and that's why I bought it. I bought it more or less for the pot itself because I'm going to put it outside. I'll use it outside, and I'll take out these florals. I probably will use it for some other DIY, most likely next year at Christmas time. I live in the South, so... Something like this, eh, I wouldn't use outside being that I live in the south. If I lived up in the north, I would just add to this and make it, you know, a winter potted plant. You know, do something with it that way. But I'm going to do something with it. And I, I'm sure, if I remember, I will, you know, post pictures or I'll do a video of a bunch of my DIYs. Something. Because I do want to continue with the YouTube channel. Okay, so we're going to go into the first box, and I'm going to stand up to do it because I'm literally holding my phone. I'm sorry. This is probably really poor quality, but 
I'm doing the best I can with this. So, lo and behold, I got a ton of pine cones. I literally have a backyard filled with pine cones. Let me smell these. Oh, well, they're scented pine cones. That I don't have. I'm going to switch this camera around. I hope I don't give anyone vertigo. Okay, so I got pine cones. I really don't need pine cones. $4. Regular price was $6 on this bag. Oh, there's pine needles, too, stuck to it. Uh, $4.99 on this bag. So they must be maybe different sizes. These smell, so... That's three dry quarts. The other one was three dry quarts. I don't know what the difference is. So that's two bags. This is three bags. Four bags of pine cones. Five bags of pine cones. Oops, I just got pinched by a pine cone. Uh, I think I'm up to six bags of pine cones. I'm going to get all the pine cones out, but thankfully I see better stuff. Not that pine cones are bad. I'm going to have to make a wreath or something. It's just that I have so many in my yard. <sighs> if anyone wants pine cones, comment below. Um, and yet, what do I have? Two, four, six, seven. I have eight bags of pine cones, so I have a lot of pine cones there. Uh, at least I have some florals, which makes me happy. These are some poinsettias. One, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like six poinsettias to this bunch. Regular price, $5. Okay, so even if, you know, I think this, I would never pay $5 in all honesty for this. I would go to Dollar Tree and get probably similar for a dollar. But being that this was in a box for $4, well, not so bad because I'm thinking to myself, Hey, the pine cones. Yeah, I have them in my backyard. I can do something with them. Unless someone comments below and would like like some pine cones. Um, I'll send them to you as long as you pay the shipping. Um, this. This is nice. These, I could definitely use these flowers. I know there's holly leaves, but you know what? I think I could get away with mixing these white flowers in with spring decor. So... I think I will get use out of this, like, right away. Pretty much, yeah, right away. Ooh, sorry. Again, I do apologize. This is my first video, and I will have to definitely learn better camera skills. I'm going to need a, a tripod or something. Uh, $10 this was originally. Again, I wouldn't pay $10, but $4 in the box, I think, is pretty good. This here, I bought this exact same thing. When these were 70% off and I paid $3, regular price is $10. These are beautiful. And I used the flowers, the roses on a wreath already. The succulents I'm going to use for something else. I have another idea in mind. That kind of goes with a Dollar Tree haul that I did. Um, I think I'll do, like, show everybody, I think, maybe not how to make the items, but show them what I did, and I'll talk about them, and I could explain what I did. But this $3 I paid for, and I thought $3 was well worth it. So between that and the other two florals, I think the $4 was wor worth it, and I don't care about the pine cones. Here's another uh, floral, which I think this is nice. Uh, I'm thinking I might be able to get off like that sugary coating. And maybe use the succulent for something else. If not, I'm going to put this in my stash for Christmas. I could definitely use this next year. The regular price on this was $18. I personally never would pay $18 for such a thing. But this just came in my $4 grab bag. I think this was well worth it. I'm just going to toss this box on the side because... I have another one. I think this video is going to go into two parts. And I think I'm going to cry because right away I see more pine cones. So anyone watching this, if you want the pine cones, by all means, you could message me. And I have no problem. I'll send you these pine cones if you like. You just got to pay for shipping. Unless maybe my daughter, but if it doesn't matter. I, I just don't need all these pine cones. 
Um, this is pretty good because I know these go on for about five dollars usually. It's just the paper, but I think I I could use it like for card making. I do some some planners and stuff, and I always want to do card making. I just never have the time. That's something that I do eventually would like to get into. Okay, so well, so that's not that that's not bad. And even though I got more pine cones. So now I got one, two, three more bags of pine cones. All right. Well, it is what it is with the pine cones. And I have some ribbon, which the ribbon is kind of one of the things I was after. Those were my knees cracking. Sorry. And anyone who shops Michael's knows, like, you could definitely get a better deal on ribbon there, like, regular season, like, at either Hobby Lobby or Sam's. I got great uh, ribbon at Sam's this year. $15 I would never pay for a spool of, what is this? My finger's on it. Five yards, so you're getting 15 feet of velvet. But in a $4 box, this is well worth it, because... Anyone who shops and buys these ribbons knows that it's a nice quality and it's wire ribbon. So it's definitely easy to work with. So let me move this one out of the way and let me see. Okay, I got one, two, some of them are unraveled, three, four of the red ribbons. Okay, this, this is unraveled, but I'm going to take it out. It looks like a silver with like maybe a gunmetal, like gray. I honestly think this, let me grab one that's not open. This was regular $10. And it is, let me get my big fat finger out of the way, 25 feet. Okay, so that's not bad. $10 would be bad, but this in a $4 box, I think it's well worth it. As I was saying, this I might use like maybe in a 4th of July, add some red and blue to it. And I think this would be stunning on a 4th of July, either floral arrangement or a wreath. I think that would work out really well. Maybe even like if I was wrapping even a gift for a guy, this would, you know, work out well. Or even if I was doing like maybe a farmhouse wreath and in someone's decor who has more of like the grays. I would maybe incorporate that. So that ribbon I'm definitely going to be able to use. I see I have the green, just similar to the red. This I probably would only use at Christmas time. And I got four of those also. What is this down here? Oh, okay. This is twine. Yeah, I could use this twine for something, I'm sure. Christmas twine. Maybe if I made, like, my own garland or something, what was the regular price on that? $5. I would never pay $5, but in a $4 thing, box, it's great. This I'm really happy about. Only because gold, gold I could use for wedding anniversaries. I could also use this for my St. Patrick's Day. Regular price was $10 for 25 feet. How many... How many rolls did I get? I got three rolls of the gold. So to me, this was well worth it. This was a good box for me. All right, I'm going to just push this box out of the way to see the next one. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to go into a different box. That looks like it has a load of stuff. I'm going to make two 15-minute videos, I think, because I am running out of time. I hope everyone comes back for my videos. Actually, I think I'm going to cut this video now, and I'll do part two. Okay, I'll see you all in a few minutes. Please continue to watch. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that bell for subscribe because I am new, and I am going to be putting out so many more videos. Thank you, and I'll see you in a few minutes.